what... What happened? I think I went to sleep for a minute. Where... Where are we? Yuzer? Yuzer, are you here? If you're here, show me a sign. Oh, I'm not alone. Why on earth did you touch the bug? I warned you about it. Look where that got us. That got us... somewhere. I don't know where. This place is very strange. What is it? Some kind of television? Maybe we should not touch it. What? You plugged in the video input? Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Whoa, that doesn't look very sturdy. Stop, user! Can't you see you're making things worse? Don't touch the cracks! Don't tell me you've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson? You called, Holmes? Holmes? Is it me, or is there an echo all of a sudden? Watson, did you hear that? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. It seems to be coming from our dear neighbor Wilhelm's home. Let's go take a look, shall we? All of this is most exciting. What on earth is going on? Hey, those look like interaction icons. I think we're in a g g g game. Oh, goodness, we can't stay here. Do the icons in the game work? No? Oh, that can only mean one thing. We are trapped in this world, just like these fictional characters. A world where it's impossible to tell what's real and what's an illusion. User, we've probably entered a different video game dimension. Do something, anything. It's what you do best. Find a way out, please. We should done. What have you done now? Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that feast? When I asked you to find a way out, I was talking about this dimension. The room! There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Characters, quiet! Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. A key to open a door? You disappoint me, my dear friend. Be more creative. Make more daring associations. And think in four dimensions. You mean like you're doing now? Don't make a sound, user. Not a sound. What was that sound? A lost penny. It's my lucky day. Your lucky evening, my friend. Another penny. I'm going to be rich. You'll finally be able to pay your share of the rent. Speaking of yourself, my dear friend. User, stop cheating for goodness sake! Holmes, I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. 
a sort of voice with a Russian accent. But I'm not. There, did you hear it? The only thing I heard is the gentle rustling of the wind with a Russian accent. And what are you going to do now with that coin? You certainly have a thing for tinkering. That's not a good idea, user. No! Where are the monitor circuits? It looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. Don't you dare go help them out. User, you're really irritating. Aha! My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson, let's go inside. Don't go with them! Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. Ah, a strange device with a missing cog. I wonder what it could be connected to. No, no, we don't care. We haven't seen anything that looks like a cog anyhow. It's broken. I was worried you would move this moon. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no chance of that happening. At least, not as long as the device that's attached to this wire doesn't work. I get the feeling that sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut. There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. And there we go. Let's just tear everything down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email? Are you trying to stick a stamp to that device? First, to stick a stamp to something, you need to get it wet. Second, it's a dumb idea! Oh, that's disgusting! Fixing a machine with a stamp. How logical! Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. No, 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 no! Where's the fake moon going? I hope it's not... Oh. Oh, I knew it! Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating. I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Mr. Wilhelm. Are you dead? Holmes, he's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mr. Glitch, oh no. It looks like some sort of relatively thick monochromatic parasite. And it's serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Let me take a closer look at it. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. Don't touch that! That machine doesn't look like it's plugged in anyways. Poor soul. It looks painful. Is it just me or did the red letter move? I can't stand. 
stand hearing him scream. Finish him with your Bartitsu, Holmes. It's unbearable. How dare you steal from Mr. Wilhelm Scream? Put that edge back. You have no business with this letter H. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. Wait, did you just use a letter from an onomatopoeia to fix a rail? But that doesn't make any sense. You might as well use, I don't know, a monkey to work an hydraulic pump. It's dumb. But what really gets me is that it works. You just swiped their mining fine glass. The feast wasn't enough for you. I just hope they won't figure it out. Developers only. <laughs> One more rule you're going to be able to break. Uh, did the game crash? Echo! I think I know where we are. It's a dictionary. This is where all the things that are used in the game are stored. A kind of hidden library. Only the developers can access this section. Hence the secret hatch, I suppose. I told you I had my magnifying glass in my hand, Watson, and it suddenly disappeared. There you go. They figure it out. That voice. It's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. But I'm not Russian. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Oh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human, and we're trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? Game? What game? Uh, your game. You are aware that the world you're in isn't real, don't you? <laughs> you don't know that you're in a video game, is that it? I'd rather look for my magnifying glass than continue listening to your mad jabbering, Mr. Wilhelm. But he's not the one... <clears throat> User, I think we're going to need Mr. Glitch's help. If he brought us into this dimension, he will probably be able to get us out of here. What's a video game? There's got to be a way to get it off. Maybe some kind of ritual? Unless, of course, you've got the number for the fire department. This machine seems to be out of order. Unless it's just not plugged in. Nice zoom in, user. I knew that mining fine glass was a good idea. Well, this telephone chair is strange. It's like a mist puzzle. What was that sound like a ringing bell? I think it came from this odd device. Oh yes, Mr. Wilhelm told me about it. It's a prototype of Antonio Mucci's teletrophone. It allows you to communicate with another person from a distance instantly. I say, and how many of them exist? This is the only one of its kind. So it's useless? It's useless. Who are you going to call with this thing? We don't know anyone here. And he said it's the only one of its kind. It works. There's a connection. 
That's strange. The teletrophone is making that odd noise again. Someone seems to be trying to communicate with us. It's the video ghost hose. Come on, Watson, pull yourself together. It's probably Mr. Moochie who made a second one and is testing it. Mr. Sherlock Holmes speaking. A disenchantment ritual? You'll have to find another dupe, madam. Goodbye. Was it a video game? No, a telephone scam. User, this Sherlock Holmes fellow is not very cooperative. You just plunged offerings in darkness, user. That's not very nice. Mind you, nothing you do even surprises me anymore. It's dark again over in this corner. I say, there's a bit of light over by the entrance. I may have lost my magnifying glass here. Well done, user. That character isn't by the communication device anymore. finally be able to use this teletrophone in peace. I think you're going to have to answer, Mr. Watson. Holmes, the Russian video game is speaking to me. Pick up the phone, damn it! Very well. Are you a video game too? Yes. Three steps for a successful disenchantment? I'm listening. Ah, that's what we're interested in. There must be a full moon. Ah, as luck would have it, it's not the case. Cover the victim with snow? Uh, it's the middle of May. Then gently place a large cherry on top. Is this a ritual or a cake recipe? So, let me summarize. Full moon, snow, big cherry. Thank you, madam. We are screwed. User, ice cream. Maybe it can be used as snow. After all, it's just water in a solid state. But how can we get it? At any rate, that ice cream sure looks delicious. These cans of paint make me think of the three primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Except we're inside a cathode ray screen with a video signal, which is a mix of red, blue, and green. Without a paintbrush, there's no point anyways. Hey, a big red ball, like a juicy cherry. Do you think it will do the trick? Let's hope so. And the award for Unscrewer of the Year goes to... The User! I voted for you. Well done, Jim. All that's left is the cone. 
How can we fill it up with snow again? All we've got on hand is a game and a TV. No! TV snow! Uh, I'm impressed, user. Let's hope that this snow will do the trick. What a fantastic full moon. I hope the game won't get wise to us. There you go. Sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. It's for your own good, I think. Okay, we have all the ingredients. Why isn't anything happening? Look, it's starting! Mr. Wilhelm just exploded like a beached whale. Perhaps he was allergic to cherries. I'm finally free of that radical sprite. This trip has been more difficult than imagined. Mr. Glitch! Game, you again? Did you from me? We were transported here by accident. We? No, it can't be true. You brought the user with you. You're such a pain in the neck. And you wonder why she left you. I won't let you speak of her. Anyways, I have to go. This isn't the dimension I was aiming for. So, good game. <laughs> no! We have to follow him! But this painting just blocked the way. And I feel like it's backwards. Are you talking about your trousers, my good man? How are we going to get past it? Now the painting is the right way round. At least I think so. The passage is open again. Come, Holmes. Let's follow the rainbow ghost. Come then, Watson. It's probably just a large flying insect. So, if I understand right, some things seem to be affected by this bug fragment. It's like it reverses them or something. Uh, who cares? Let's follow them. Where is the exit? I can feel it here. Take us home. But why, game? You're not happy here with your new NPCs? NPC? Oh, did not know that. Sorry, I meant new friends. Watson, stop conversing with this beast. You're making me uneasy. Their AI doesn't seem too great. Where are you trying to go, Mr. Glitch? To a place where I will be able to unleash my evil plan. What plan? The one that will let me... What? What did he say? A copy projection system right in the middle of a game? How barbaric! We're missing the explanation of his evil plan. <sighs> Let's find the numbers we need fast, user. I wonder if it's related to that strange disc on the monitor. Do you think this copy protection system really existed? I doubt it was effective. On the other hand, it must have been good for the photocopier market.
That's weird. It is our plan. <laughs> what an evil plan. Isn't it? Uh, could you say that again? We got cut off. No. There, I just saw the exit, which means this is where we say goodbye. Farewell, game. Enjoy your new cobble home. Farewell, Rainbow Butterfly. He disappeared into the ground. How will we be able to follow him? Let's have a look around this street scenery. Oops. I think you managed to break something up. The ground isn't there anymore. But where did the characters go? There's the exit. Sherlock, I'm going to fall. Hold on, Watson. The world is ending. Everything is fake. I am fake. London is probably on a fault line. I'm going to get us out of this mess. Oh, darn it. We can't leave them there like that. Let's try to get them to safety quickly before leaving. This manhole cover doesn't want to move. At least not from this side. There you go. It wasn't that hard after all. We just opened the passage for you. Go ahead, Mr. Holmes. Jump! There's something for you to land in on the other side. Jump! Hold on, Watson. We're going to swing over to the hole. Three, two, one. Well done, Holmes. What an extraordinary leap. This bathtub just saved our lives. I didn't see much because of the screen interference, but the jump animation must have been amazing. Okay, user. Now that they're safe, we can leave. Goodbye, gentlemen. We apologize for the inconvenience. Let's go! Legend of the Secret? Ah, this still isn't our dimension. Hmm, getting home is going to be more complicated than I thought. Is, is that a start button?